I once thought Pete Davidson was just like Obama, biracial goofball who ruined a once beloved institution, but it turns out I was wrong. Pete's not biracial. <laughs> Good one. And Coulter, if you're here, who's scaring the crows away from our crops? Pete Davidson, Pete's dad, never got to see him on SNL because he passed away on 9-11. Pete's mom has never seen him on SNL because she blinks. <laughs> is Pete white? Is he black? Ann Coulter needs to know if she can decide if she hates him. <laughs> Pete, I actually thought you were black, but I guess you just have your uh, dad's ashy skin. Whoa, Macaulay Culkin looks worse than I thought. <laughs> David, thanks for taking time away from waiting for Sandler to write Grown Ups 3 to be here. <laughs> David Spade's assistant once tried to kill him in his sleep, and the world was shocked to find out you could afford an assistant. <laughs> Pete Davidson's ugly. He's actually going on his third year of SNL. It's been a while since I've been there, of course, but uh, you gotta help me out now. Is it the fourth year that they finally let you see an orthodontist? <laughs> Jacked up teeth! <laughs> Fix that shit! <laughs> Jimmy Carr's got better teeth than he's British! <laughs> Rob Riggle is here. I actually really love Rob Riggle. Rob, yeah, Rob was, uh, Rob was a Marine. The few, the proud, which also describes his fans. Now look at this little nugget, Pete Davidson. It's hard to recognize him when he's not on SNL or on an adventure with the man in the yellow hat. Jewel's here, Jewel, uh, I won't make fun of you yet because uh, I want to give everyone at home time to Google who you are. Um, my mom really wanted me to get you to sign this. Uh, I, uh, I don't know what the f*** it is. If it's a phone, it's broken. But uh, she'd really appreciate if you could sign this. <laughs> My mom came here to see you, so uh, yeah. Pete Davidson's here. I'm appalled Thanks. that people would come here and make jokes about the sacrifice Pete's heroic father made on 9-11. This is not the roast of Pete Davidson's father. That was in 2001. Jimmy Carr is here. When I first met Jimmy Carr, I thought, wow, Jeff Dunham's puppets are getting amazing. <laughs> Jimmy, you look like a butler in a haunted mansion. I just met this guy, Pete Davidson, backstage before the show, a great guy. He asked to take a picture with me, and I didn't even realize he was one of the comedians. I told him, don't give up, kid. Whatever disease you have, you can beat it. <laughs> Peyton Manning's here. I f***ing love Peyton Manning. He's the shit. Peyton... Peyton looks like if football players evolved to no longer need helmets. <laughs> no, seriously, Peyton, I love all of your work, especially when I saw you in the Goonies yelling, Hey! A Super Bowl is also what Peyton's mom had to cut his hair with as a child. Pete Davidson. Yeah, good to have you here tonight. You know, <laughs> as he talks about in his stand-up and everywhere else, uh, he lost his father on 9-11. Pete, your performance tonight was a fitting tribute to your dad because it was like watching a third plane hit the World Trade Center. No, really, I actually, I do think you're going to be the next Adam Sandler. And I knew it the minute I saw David Spade blowing you before the show. <laughs> Let's hear it for Rob Lowe, okay? Right? <laughs> Rob Lowe. Or as gonorrhea doctors call him, patient zero.
People call Rob Lowe a bad actor, but that's only because they never saw him tell his wife he didn't f that nanny. <laughs> um, Rob has two beautiful kids here, not his children. They're just guaranteed in his contract. <laughs> Rob was the first male spokesperson for the Lee National Denim Day, which raises millions of dollars for breast cancer research. You know, that's a great thing. It's a disease, yeah. It's a disease that his mother, his grandmother, and great-grandmother suffered from. But you still a 16-year-old girl in 1988. <laughs> It doesn't change anything. You still did that. I'm coming for you. I once thought Pete Davidson was just like Obama, biracial goofball who ruined a once beloved institution, but it turns out I was wrong. Pete's not biracial. <laughs> Good one. Ann Coulter is here, everybody. Ann Coulter, if you're here, who's scaring the crows away from our crops? <laughs> You know, Anne describes herself as a polemicist, but most people call her a <laughs> You know, last year we had Martha Stewart, who sells sheets, and now we have Ann Coulter, who cuts eye holes in them. Our first roaster is Pete Davidson. Now, he's the newest member of Saturday Night Live. This introduction is way longer than his Wikipedia page. Uh, guy from New York, it's Pete Davidson. Thank you. It's an honor to be at a roast hosted by Shaq's dick. <laughs> wow, wow, Ludacris and Snoop Dogg are here. If I was 38, I'd be freaking out right now. Uh, Kev, I loved you as Black Annie. You was so good. It's good to see Comedy Central diversifying his talent with whatever race Pete Davidson is. Uh, you just look real, you're just real vague, man. With a weird, vague ass face, and I don't like it. I don't like your face at all, you know? You seem like a nice person, but when I talk to you, I don't have fun. Uh, <laughs> Pete, Pete has got a lot going on. Pete, I don't know how you can juggle SNL, stand-up, and Lauren Michaels' balls in your mouth all at the same time. An amazing multitasker Pete Davidson is. Hannibal Burris is here, everybody, Hannibal. Hannibal, of course, is famous for exposing Bill Cosby, right, and only for exposing Bill Cosby. <laughs> no, he deserved it, though. Bill Cosby hurt those women without ever caring about the consequences. That Hannibal Burris would become famous. <laughs> Look at all these scrubs on the stage. Hannibal, Natasha, Pete Davidson. I haven't seen a more disappointing lineup since the last Lakers game. <clears throat> now, come on, let's hear it for Shaq. All right? Thanks for being here and taking a break from throwing barrels at Super Mario. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what? <laughs> Please don't eat me. Uh, <laughs> I'm so afraid, he's so big. Uh, one of the many nicknames that Shaq has is Superman, right? And much like Superman, he pretends to be a reporter and has never met his real father. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shaq is cool, though. Shaq has shattered eight backboards and 79 cervixes. <laughs> 